right here and this the fan blowing it's nice out here hi Brenda how are you how's your day going it's good to see you honey are you hot enough <laughs> it was cold this morning Rockwell hello Linda good morning how is everyone it's good afternoon I guess right Debbie good morning Corey, hello. How is everyone today? Bodacious gal, hello. I just read your comment where you said you, you live on the Cumberland Plateau. Beautiful area to live in. You're so lucky. Lovely place to live. I lived there for almost 10 years. How are the chickens? They're good. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Brandy, hello. Alisa, hello. Nicole, good afternoon. Cassandra. Lioness Queen, hello. How are you? I know, Bodacious Gal, the Cumberland Plateau always had the best weather. The absolute best weather. Hello, Vicki Shirley, thank you for the follow. Rosa, hello from California. You guys are, how, what time is it in California? Nine o'clock in the morning? It's echoing, probably. I'm sitting outside, I have the fan going. Blakey, hello from Florida. Ashley, hello. California. Welcome in everyone. Well today we are here to talk about parasite detoxing. I've had a lot of requests to do a live on parasite detoxing. So we're going to talk about it. And I want to know what do you recommend for constipation? Actually that's a good question because you should never do a detox with while being constipated. So a very good easy recipe for you. Get your pen and papers out. I will give it to you. Is good for constipation. So when you are constipated, you need to up your liquid intake and your fiber intake. A lot of reasons people are constipated is because they're eating too low fat, uh, low fiber, high fat diet. We're eating a lot of processed foods. Oh, thank you. I love my, it's called my fat dress. When I'm fat and bloated from detoxing, especially Candida Detox, this is the dress I wear. Diana, thank you for the follow. Hello from Seattle. Welcome in. So the recipe that I give that always helps people get regular is one apple, one pear. You want some chia seeds and flax seeds. I would put about a tablespoon of each in. Um, and then you want to do it in coconut. You can do it in coconut or almond, unsweetened, and one tablespoon of molasses. Put that in a blender and blend it real fine and then drink it and follow with a glass of water. Always gets people regular, always helps them going because you're getting uh, liquid content, you're getting fruit, you are also getting fiber content, and you are getting molasses, which helps sweeten it, which also helps you get regular. And it's iron supplement. Back in the old days, people used to, the doctors used to give us iron. When we were low in iron, they used to tell us to drink blackstrap molasses. For some reason, that has gone the way. They no longer do it. But blackstrap molasses is wonderful for anybody who is low in iron. So... Um, also, I'm going to pin to this live while we're doing the live um, the uh, donkey milk soap in case anybody is still interested in purchasing. If you have not purchased, you are more than welcome to take a look at it. Grab your coupon for it. There's a coupon for $5 off. Do we do the parasite cleanse before the liver cleanse? Yes. So get your pen and paper out and I'll give you the order that I do my detoxing in. Parasite detoxing. Then comes the heavy metal flush with the liver detox. Next comes the um, lymphatic detox, followed by the candida detox, and then you can finish it off with an adrenal support. As you know, you cannot, um, you can't detox your adrenal, but you can give it support. So, Cantor family reached level 12. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you for your love and support. I passed the foot-long tapeworm. I believe it. I believe it. I want to talk about parasites. I want to ask you guys if you know, where do parasites live in large numbers? Fatima, thank you for the follow. Where do parasites live in large numbers? 
Uh, the soap. Let's talk just a little bit about Donkey Milk Soap and then we're going to move on. Uh, Donkey Milk Soap is the closest to the human pH that you can possibly get. It is also loaded with all kinds of vitamins, amino acids. It is just a very high fat content soap. And it's really good for eczema, psoriasis, rashes. Like I have this um, uh, a detoxing rash and I literally use the Donkey Soap on it twice and it's almost gone. There is something in Donkey Milk Soap is also great for your kids. Please stop using the, the, the washes they give you for the kids. Replace it with donkey milk soap. Goat milk soap is good too, but donkey milk soap is better. If you have oily skin, it's even good for your T-zone. It's wonderful. Cleopatra used to travel with 700 donkeys just so she could get her donkey milk baths. Donkey milk is one of the closest things to our human pH. It just gives you a beautiful glowing skin. Also helps plump it up and keeps moisture. If you have dry hands, dry face, dry body, donkey milk soap. So, that is um, what, what, I love the donkey milk soap. But I'm not going to leave it pinned very long. Actually, we're going to take it down here in about five minutes because TikTok is having, oh, talk about another product. They like to push us. So, I'm just going to leave it up there for a little bit. If you want donkey milk soap, please purchase it. I'm going to be taking the pin off here in a little bit. But, so... Parasites live in the largest number in our gut. Why is that? You are exactly right. Because that's where the food supply is. Remember, you're their host. You are hosting these things in your body, and that is where your food supply is. Um, they live in large numbers in your large colon. Why do you think cancer colon is on the rise? Because of parasite infestation. They live in our intestines, our gut, our large colon. And I, in my own humble opinion, believe that that is a lot, a lot of where diverticulitis, IBS, Crohn's, all the chronic gut and intestinal issues that we are having because in the 1980s, back in the 1980s, they used to still teach in the medical books about parasite detoxing. Then they took it out and they rewrote all the medical books. Now, everything that used to be called a parasite is now called a, a um, bacteria. I bet she's selling something. I educate while I'm selling, but you will just get blocked. Goodbye. Nobody has to buy anything. I come here to educate. So uh, parasites live the largest number in our gut. Let's talk about the different types of parasites we have. We have round worms. We have hook worms. We have thread worms. We have thorny hook worms. We also have tape worms. You also have the protozoas, the schistostomas, the hashistomas. The protozoas are one of the worst ones because they're cellular based in nature. They grow like wildfire. And they're only one of the only ones that will follow your bloodstream. So do you ever wonder, do you remember seeing the story about the woman with the tapeworm in her brain? She went to the doctor and they were like, oh my God, she has a tumor in her brain. Let's cut her head open. They cut her head open. It was a large tapeworm wrapped around her brain. And people say, oh my God, how did it get there? Your bloodstream. They follow your bloodstream. That is why I recommend tinctures when you are parasite detoxing. Why? Because tinctures break the blood barrier that is why i don't take vitamins tablets or pills if you want your health to turn around in a fundamental way start doing tinctures you know i have a lot of people come to me and they say oh i take all kinds of natural herbs and supplements and i don't feel much different that's the problem vitamins tablets and pills versus a tincture if you want your life to turn around quickly health wise swap all those out and go to tinctures i'm going to tell you why there are non-alcoholic tinctures. You can get glycerin tinctures. But glycerin tinctures only have a one-year shelf life versus a 10-year shelf life for alcohol-based tinctures. And glycerin tinctures are made largely for children, so they don't consume the alcohol. But yes, there is uh, glycerin-based tinctures. They're also not as strong. So vitamins, tablets, and pills actually have binders. They have fillers. They have additives. And then they put the very small a part of the herb. Like let's say you get a St. John's wort pill or tablet or vitamin. There's only about 10% of that herb in there. And on top of it, it's dried. So the potency is already gone. The most potent matter will come from fresh plant matter at the peak of potency. That is why I love Zuma Nutrition because they harvest all their stuff, fresh plant matter at the peak of potency. That is why Zuma Nutrition products are so potent and work so well. So when you take your vitamins, tablets, and pills with the additives, the fillers, and the binders, and the small percent of the herb that you think you're getting, your liver has to process it. Our livers are shot. So it processes it in very small, slow numbers. 
And by the time it's done processing, you hardly get any of the benefits. So basically, you're swallowing a ton of vitamins, tablets, and pills for nothing. But when you're taking a tincture, this is the straight plant matter put in a vat with 100 proof grain alcohol, organic alcohol. It pulls the extractions out. So what you're left with when you get a liquid tincture is pure uh, plant matter, pure plant medicine versus please stop buying pills from Walmart, okay? Please stop it. When I traded out all my pills, vitamins, and tablets, we're tincture household. Everything is tincture. What I can get in tincture, I do in tincture. Alcohol-based tincture, absolutely. 100 proof, extracted with 100 proof grain, absolutely. Um, so tinctures also break the blood barrier, which means what? When you go to the hospital and you sit there, they put a needle in your arm. Why do they do that? To get it into your bloodstream. Why? So it works quicker. The same with tinctures. Tinctures. I'm telling you, if you want your health to turn around, switch everything out to tinctures. This is pure plant matter. This is wormwood, clove, and walnut hull extracted via high-grain alcohol. And the other thing, too, is the only three herbs you need for a good parasite detox is wormwood, clove, and walnut hull. Green walnut hull. Let me tell you all something. Everybody says, how does this smell? How does it taste? It tastes like shit. If your herbs don't taste like shit, they're not legit. We are a babyfied nation. We want everything to taste good, feel good, smell good, look good. That's why we're sick. That's why we're sick. And that is how they feed us. They feed us like pigs to the slaughter because they want us, they make everything taste good, look good, feel good. We don't care what the ingredients are, full of toxins, chemicals, poisons, cancer-causing carcinogens, hormone disruptors, red dye 40s, yellow dye 40s. It's destroying us. Okay, this. We need it. Liquid tinctures. Now, if you're doing a parasite detox, listen, I'm going to give you the goods. You don't have to buy Zuma Nutrition, but if you want a recommendation, this is what I roll with, and I'm going to tell you why. Zuma Nutrition is a small company based in Idaho. So if you're mad, you can just get in your car and drive up. You know, it's not like they're overseas or something. The other reason I love them is they curate in small batches. What does that mean for us as a consumer? It means that this stuff is fresh. It's like a fresh cup of coffee. It's not like something that has been sitting on the shelf for six months in an Amazon warehouse, and then it comes to you. Not to keep in mind that tinctures have 10-year shelf life when they're taken with alcohol. So it's fresh. And a lot of companies, because... Because that they know they have the 10-year shelf life, will curate in huge batches, and you may get a bottle. Oh, my husband, he's breaking up concrete. Sorry. <laughs> they said, who's slamming back there? My husband, he's breaking up concrete right over there. <laughs> we're, we're doing some renovations. So a lot of company was curating huge batches. Yes, I know I do too. I absolutely love Zuma. They'll curate in, in large batches, and you'll get one that's two years old, three years old. Zuma curates in small batches, meaning it's fresh. It's fresh, it's potent for delivery, okay? So it's not sitting on a shelf life forever. The other thing, too, is they only extract the therapeutic parts of the plant. Do you want to know why Zuma works so well? So some people will take an ashwagandha root and they'll grind it down, right? They'll grind it down. And then what they'll do is they'll put the powder, the whole plant, into a capsule and give it to you. What Zuma does is they extract only the therapeutic part of the ashwagandha plant and then they test it for purity to make sure that the, what they're giving you is pure in nature. So when you are taking Zuma Nutrition products, you are getting the therapeutic parts of the plant purest in nature. That is why their ashwagandha formula, I have taken ashwagandha all my life, I took one drop of the ashwagandha formula, it knocked my ass into the next kingdom. I slept, I don't even know what happened, because they only extract the therapeutic part of the plant. That is why it works so well. The other thing, too, is they harvest from fresh plant matter at the peak of potency. Y'all already know I go down the rabbit hole and do my research for these companies for you. Only the best for me, only the best for you. So, you cannot find them in the store, only on Zuma Nutrition website. They don't even mess with Walmart, they don't mess with Amazon. They're so particular that their products are pure in form, not tampered with. They don't want any third parties involved. So you could only get this on the Zuma Nutrition website, and that's another reason I rep for them, because I love their products. I love their company policy. I, they're just a wonderful company. The other thing, too, go to their website. Tons of free information. 
And you can also read tons of reviews on these products. So Zuma Nutrition, Z-U-M-A Nutrition. And for the Parasite Detox, you want Parasite Detox with Fulvic Acid Binder. And we're going to talk about the binder here in a little bit. So, the Wormwood, the Parasite Detox with Zuma Nutrition, has the three fundamental herbs in we talked about. Wormwood, clove, and walnut hull. Wormwood to kill the adults. Clove has been shown to get rid of the larva. And then, uh, wor and then um, green walnut hull has been shown to support getting rid of the eggs. You don't want to just get rid of one of the family. You don't want to just get rid of Schmojo. You have to get rid of Schmojo, Aunt Carol, Aunt Sandy, uh, Aunt Sue, uh, little Pee Wee Herman. You've got to get rid of the whole family. So a lot of the things, a lot of the, the um, things that are going around out here on TikTok about do pumpkin seed, do ivermectin, do uh, castor oil. There's all kinds of crazy things. That's a maintenance. I eat pumpkin seeds with every meal for maintenance. That is maintenance. It is not a complete detox. So, parasite detoxing. If you don't want to buy Zuma Nutrition, you don't have to. You can go do your own research. Clove, wormwood, and walnut hull. The best blend for complete parasite detox. Okay, now where do we get parasites from? Parasites live in, come on audience participation, where do we get parasites from? I know y'all know. I know y'all know. I'll wait. Meat, yes, meat. Meat, yep, absolutely. Animals, China, yep, absolutely. Meat. Not just meat, other things too. Ariel, thank you for the follow. Fruit, fruit, yes, absolutely. Raw fish, thank you, good one. Raw fish, yes. Fish and soles of the feet, yes, we get it through dirt. Vegetables, Michelle, good one. Water, China, good one. You guys are on top of it. The air, truck girl, thank you very much. Doctor said in the USA are rare. Well, in case y'all don't know, in these parts, in my lives, we don't trust the doctors, okay? Because <laughs> I don't have the doctors to thank for my health. But if you are a Western medicine doctor freak, I think you're in the wrong tribe, sister. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think you're in the wrong tribe, so you're welcome to stay. But you're, you're in the wrong parts of the country, honey. The doctors do absolutely nothing about parasites. That's true. Did you know in the 1980s they started taking it out of the medical books? Did you know H. pylori used to be called a parasite? It is now called a bacteria. Why? Because they don't treat for it anymore. And I want to say another thing about H. pylori. They took wormwood. Listen to me very carefully. They took wormwood. They pitted it against the best lab-created parasite medication and pitted it against wormwood to treat H. pylori. Listen to this very carefully. Wormwood trumped the man-made lab stuff by 95% more effective in eradicating H. pylori than the best thing that they could create in the Western medicine labs. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. we got to say it. Nothing they make in the man-made labs in Western medicine society will ever trump the power of Mother Nature. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to say it again. If you're part of the Western medicine train and you uh, believe everything your USA doctor says, and you're like a little child. Here, eat from my hand. Here, take this poison. How about this poison? I think this poison will really help you. This one will give you side effects, so let's give you another poison to combat those side effects. If you are in that train, I'm just going to say it again, you're in the wrong tribe. In this community, we don't roll like that. We believe in the power of Mother Nature and plant medicine to heal us as was intended from the birth of our nation. Okay? I have been down the Western Root Medicine. They almost killed me. They almost killed me. At 30, I was on my deathbed. Literally, I felt like I was dying. 275 pounds. I'm now 130 pounds lighter than what I used to be. I had diverticulitis, Crohn's, IBS, chronic kidney and gallbladder stones. I had, oh, I had diverticulitis so bad, they said, if I don't get my shit together, I'm going to have a shit bag. They wanted to take my gallbladder out that day. That's how bad Western medicine had trumped my ass. I went home and I started on Mother Nature, and I'm 50 years old off of all my medications, completely free of diverticulitis, Crohn's, IBS, all the chronic, the autoimmune diseases that I had. Why? Not because of Western medicine. I'll tell you that right now. Mother Nature. Mother Nature is where it's at. So, in this community, 
That's who we roll with, Mother Nature, okay? Now, while I'm not saying you can go to the doctors, absolutely fantabulous. Take your butts down to the doctor once a year. Get, your, get yourself checked out. But don't let them treat you. Go home and heal yourself. Did you listen to what I said? Don't let them treat you. Go home and heal yourself and use Mother Nature. So, back to parasite detoxing. Air, water, human-to-human -human contact, pets in our home, soil. Also, let me unlock a new fear for you. Going to the beach where dogs poop in the sand. Yeah, that's why I don't go to pet-friendly beaches. I even have a pet and I still won't go. Why? Because they bury their poop in the sand. You cover yourself with it or get it in your feet. Now you're going to have a nasty parasite. Okay? They come everywhere. I told the doctor to test her stools. Listen, I'm going to say something else too. Doctors do not know how to test for parasites. They will test for one or two. That's it. Do you know we have thousands of different strains of parasites in our body? Okay? So, uh, for our kids, I use BioRay. Uh, my son is going through his six-month detox right now. Hookworms, yes, you get hookworms, threadworms, all that crap. So, parasite detoxing is super important for optimal health. It's step one in the full body detox. I do parasite detoxing twice a year, and I don't blink. Because I'm telling y'all something. These things live in us. They live in us it, it just everywhere. It's just disgusting. And the reason that Western medicine doesn't, doesn't acknowledge it is because they know, let me say something, they know if the whole world would catch on and we would start doing full body detoxing every year. And let me say something else while I'm at it. Uh, did, you, did, you, uh, did you watch the video that I posted about the mother who took her child to the doctor and they did a screen and they said, oh, she has cancer of the spine? The mother, being smart, took her, took her daughter to a holistic practitioner. The holistic practitioner said, that's parasites. So the mother said, and, and the hospital wanted to right away start treatment. Let's start treating for cancer. Let's start doing chemotherapy. The mother refused and said, I'm going to keep seeing the holistic practitioner. The holistic practitioner treated her for parasites. They called DFS on this mother and tried to get the daughter taken away because they said the mother wasn't taking care of her health because she was... Uh, refusing to use Western medicine, which is killing chemotherapy to get rid of this so-called cancer. Six weeks later, or I, I think it was six weeks or something along that line, the mother took her back for the screening because I guess DFS said, oh, you got to take her back and see if the holistic doctor is helping you. They screened her for the cancer. Gone. And you know what the doc, you know what the, they had the nerve to say? Oh, well, it must have been a misdiagnosis. I want you to think in a moment right now how scary this is. Parasites can show up on a screening and look like cancer. So let's think about this, how many people out there are being told that you have cancer when it might just be parasites and they are treating you with deadly chemotherapy. Have you ever seen what comes out of you? Have, have you ever seen what comes out of you after you're done doing chemotherapy? So... We have to keep this in mind. I'm going to tell you all something. That is why I don't trust Western medicine. They are the biggest misdiagnosers of chronic illnesses on the face of the planet. But yet, we holistic healers and old root medicine, we get all kinds of flack. But you know what? We know what's going on. We know what the hell is up. We know how to heal. We don't just treat. So, yes, parasites band together and they form tumors. I actually, create, I actually shared an article from the CDC over on my threads. Uh, and also in our Discord group. So if you want to join the Parasite Detoxing group, what I am going to say is you have to, you, you have to run it by your Western Medicine doctor. They might tell you you have cancer. But you have to run it by your Western Medicine doctor. I have to say it. Um, the other thing, too, you can't be constipated when you start. And the last thing I'm going to say, you have to finish. Okay, this is not for the faint of heart. Okay, you must finish your detoxes. There is nothing worse than starting it and stirring up the crud from the bottom of your souls and not cleaning it out. So, parasite detoxing is much more simple than people make it out to be. The first thing you take every day, you take these two bottles until they're empty. Okay? There is no set time frame because you have to listen to your body. If the die-off symptoms are too bad, I'm a cancer survivor. And yes, oh, I under oh wow, you are a survivor. Awesome. But yes, it is bad. Can parasites cause autoimmune disease? Yes, they can. Absolutely. I'm a believer. You know why I say so confidently? 
because I've seen people healed from things just doing full body detoxing. Thank you for the follow. China, who in here did the parasite detoxing? Yes, Rhonda, it is, especially in this space. I should use the C word. We should call it crud ball. Let's call it crud ball from here out. This cancer is known as a crud ball. Oh, who's doing this right now? China, you're doing it. How's it going? China, are you a part of our Discord group? Also, if you want free support during your detox, please come join our Discord group. It's free of charge. Um, there's a lot of activity over there. Share articles over there. Um, and there's a lot of people over there currently detoxing. So you have support. Um, get your detoxing and then you're welcome. And like I said, you don't even have to do Zuma. If you are just detoxing in general and you want support, you're welcome to come to our community. How do we join? The link is in my bio. It's called Children of the Earth Discord Group. I went to order it. I was nervous to take it. Um, Logan's Path, again, come join our Discord. There's a ton of free support. You're never going to be alone in your journey. Um, the chat is very active. Generally, if you put something in the chat, somebody will answer your question within a couple hours. Unless, of course, it's midnight and we're sleeping. But So the Discord link is in my bio under um, Linktree. So the set, this set here is, I believe it's $87 with my discount, uh, Posh Mama discount. But I want to talk to you a little bit about this. I'm about to start the one from Walmart. You're welcome to come join our detox group too. You don't have to be doing Zuma. If you're doing some type, any type of detox, you don't have support, you're welcome to come join us. But I will give you a word of caution. We are a friendly, open community, but there are community guidelines in place. We do accept everybody and there's no bullying. And there's no putting down. If you act a fool, you will get booted. Just same as we run our lives with a strict protocol, we do that over there too. We want people to feel safe when they're talking and sharing their experiences. And we will not allow any type of rift raft. Nothing. Zero tolerance. So, um, so anyway. So we are doing uh, Zuma Nutrition, the Parasite Detox. This has warm with clove and walnut. Hold, let me educate you a little bit about these two first. And then this one is the binder, fulvic acid with trace minerals. Why do we need a binder? Let's talk about why we need a binder. How many of you have heard of the narrative of, oh, my God, if you're doing a parasite detox, oh, my God, you're sick. You have to stay in the, in the bathroom. you got to live in the bathroom. That's because people are only doing a parasite detox. When you're doing a parasite detox, they are shedding heavy metals, toxins, poisons, chemicals, gases. They're dying in your body. If you do not flush the toilet and get them out of your system, it is giving up all those toxic chemicals in your body, making you extremely sick. So anytime you do a parasite detox, you must do it with the binder. I beg of you, don't do any type of detoxing without a binder. You need to bind it and get it out of you. So you need the parasite detox. It's called PeriaCleanse. And you also need the fulvic acid binder. Now, you can do activated charcoal for a binder, too. If you don't want to buy this one, you want to save a little money, you can do that, too. But the reason I love this one is because when you do a parasite detox, by the time you get to the end of it, you feel very depleted. Because you've literally sucked everything out of you because the parasites love to eat your nutrition. But with this, it gives you support to replenish some of those minerals while you're doing a detox, and you don't feel so tired. You don't feel so tired. You actually feel rejuvenated. You feel energized. Now, let's talk about how you're going to feel through the detox. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you because I don't do that. Um, this is most likely what will happen. So when you take the parasite detox and you take the binder with it, you're still going to get die-off symptoms most likely because depending on how infested you are, you may get such bad die-off symptoms that you're going to have to stop the detox for a couple of days and keep taking the binder. Okay, but some things that are going to happen when you're doing a detox, you're bringing everything up. Everything that is negative in your body that is wrong in your body is going to come to the surface. If you fight depression, you're going to be depressed. Okay, if you have joint pain, you're going to experience joint pain. You're also going to have headaches. You're going to have uh, you're going to be tired and then you're going to be energized. But remember, it's only for a season. Detoxing isn't fun, but the end results are worth it. The end results are worth it. It's a little bit like when, how much charcoal should you take? Um, I would do like uh, maybe 
uh, two tablets a day if you're doing the charcoal uh, detox. But listen, if you're doing activated charcoal, you have to take it away from the parasite detox at least three hours. Three to four hours. <coughs> yes, can someone pin the discount code and put Zuma Nutrition? Um, can one of my moderators please put Zuma Nutrition Peria Cleanse Fulvic Acid Binder with the discount code? And also put on Zoo, um, where, Zuma Nutrition. I feel sick from left to right that I'm afraid to feel worse with a detox. The only way you're going to achieve optimal health and stop feeling sick is to do detoxing. You have to go through hell to get to heaven. That's just how it is. I'm keeping it real with you. I'm not sugarcoating anything. So, those are some rashes. You're going to break out in rashes. Why? Because our skin is our biggest cleaning organ. What can't come out the back is going to come out in your skin. Every single time I detox, I get rashes. There's things you can do for that. Donkey milk soap. You could also wash with um, with um, a blend of dial soap with tea tree is excellent. Ah, uh, yes, the discount link, discount code are in the link tree. So it's Zuma Nutrition. It's a Peria cleanse with fulvic acid binder, and you need Posh Mama code. Uh, we can't pin the link tree. The link tree. When you click on my picture and you go up, you'll see the link tree. You can see it, and it'll say um, Parasite Detox. So that is what you're going to experience. Um, the other thing, too, is make sure you drink plenty of water. Now, how do you take it? It's simple. Once a day until the bottles are empty, you are going to shake it before you take it. You are going to do one dropper in tea in the morning on an empty stomach. Now, about a half hour later, you can shake this. You put one. If you want to take this all at one time, you want to wait about a half an hour or an hour later. If you're going to do it according to directions, you want to put a dropper of this into your drink and drink it throughout the day. Now, the other thing I'm going to tell you, if at any time you're in your detox, you are feeling very sick. And you are feeling very, very sick. You need to stop taking the parasite detox and keep taking the binder and let it catch up to get all the toxins out of your body. And when you start to feel better, resume with the parasite detox. Okay? So... What does it taste like? It tastes like shit. Ooh, it's strong. Boy, <laughs> Um, So also, if you want to do the Parasite Detox, please run it by your doctor. Also, I want to tell you, make sure that you join our Discord so you get some free support. It's all clean ingredients, absolutely. It is pure Mother Nature and minerals from the earth. Extracted using high-grain alcohol. So did I cover everything? Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have any questions? Do worms come out? They absolutely can. Um, we had a couple of people share some crap that came out of their behinds over on our show and tell board. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you have to realize a lot of them are also microscopic. Yeah, it does taste like cloves and wormwood. Yeah, you're right. It does. That's a, yeah. um, a lot of them are microscopic, so a lot of them you're not going to see. One way you can tell if you're detoxing is you're going to stink. Oh, you are going to stink like death. You're, whoo. I had a girl that's doing the detox and she said, Posh Mama, she said, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I said, what happened? She said, I went to the bathroom that's down the hall from our office. And she said, I went to the bathroom and she said, she said, I stank myself out. And she said, I went back to the office. Somebody said, oh my God, who went to the bathroom? You will stink. Because what happens when things die, toxins, chemicals, and poisons, they don't smell good. When they come out of you, you are going to stink really, really bad. So, how long do you take the detox for until the bottles are empty? Until the bottles are empty, it's not a race, it's a journey. Pace yourself. If you feel like you need to take a break during your detox, do it. Are we just talking about parasites? Yeah, we're mainly talking about parasites. Um, so, eating, listen, I try to keep things uncomplicated. The holistic landscape, everyone makes it so complicated. It does not have to be complicated. As an almost 20-year detoxer, no. As long as you are taking stuff with a binder, you don't have to prep. You don't have to open up your lymphatic systems like everyone says. Um, you don't have to do all that. It's, I feel that, it, is it good to do it? Yes, of course, but I feel it's unnecessary steps. And it also complicates things. Um, the reason I say not to open your lymphatic system is because parasites clog your system. Have you guys ever seen a little ball of worms? Do you know how narrow your lymphatic system passageways are? All it takes is one worm curled up and it'll clog your systems. So when you're trying to do a lymphatic detox before you get rid of the parasites, you're wasting it. 
because you haven't removed the blockages. So while people are trying to remove blockages by doing lymphatic detoxes, they don't realize how worms work and how parasites work. So no, you don't have to fast. How long does it take to finish the bottles? Usually five weeks if you go straight through. If it takes you longer, some six weeks, some even seven weeks. Like I said, it's a journey, not a race. Where are the instructions? Um, the instructions will be on the Zuma Nutrition website. I believe they send you a booklet with it. And also, I think maybe they're, the directions are also on the bottles. Will it affect birth control? I don't know that. Man, I, <laughs> I'm not going to be responsible for somebody popping out a baby. So I'm going to pass on that question. There isn't a booklet. Um, well, the directions are on the, um, on the bottle itself. The directions are right there on the side of the bottle. So if you get it, also if you join our detox group, there'll be somebody there to help you. Okay, this is get a pen and paper out. I'll give you the order of the detoxes. First is parasite detox. You need a peria cleanse and fulvic acid binder. Step number two is your heavy metal detox. You need a zeolite with a liver detox and support. You need to open up your liver support before you do your lymphatic. Your liver is a huge toxin remover in your body. And you don't want to have that not open and cleansed and detox before you move on to your lymphatic. So next is lymphatic detox. I take that with Sheila G. Because Sheila G helps give you energy. It also helps replace a lot of minerals. And when you are doing a uh, lymphatic detox, your energy is going to be in the toilet. In the toilet. So Sheila G helps you uh, keep that energy going and helps uh, support your body with mineral deficiencies as are created with a lymphatic detox. And then the next one is Candida Detox. I take that with Fulvic Acid Binder. I also add in a little liver support because Candida Cleanse is very hard um, because your liver is going to be working triple, four, five times over time to get all the toxins out because Candida is a very toxic, highly toxic uh, infection. So when you're doing a Candida Cleanse, if your liver isn't getting supported right, you're going to have stomach pains and you're going to have liver aches. So, and also another thing is if you break out a lot of rashes, your liver isn't processing fast enough. So you can move, you can move in with either a milk thistle or you can do a liver support detox. I'll, I just added in like a dropper or two. I did it for two days with a liver support because I'm doing candida right now. And then the last one is adrenal support. If you want to, if you're a prairie menopausal woman, menopausal woman, the Karen bundle is fabulous too. Oh, hell, do not do it all at once. You will die. <laughs> no, one at a time. One at a time. Please don't, do, do not mix them. <laughs> That's why I tell you that clove, wormwood, and walnut hell. Don't mix more stuff when you're doing a parasite detox. <coughs> Tinnitus and inner ear imbalance, um, I do not know. I do not know that. That is something I don't know. And I really need to do some research into it because it is a big problem right now. I, I wish Angie was here. She would probably know. So I need more products than just the two bottles of, of detox from Zuma Nutrition. No. When you start, all you need is the, the Peria Cleanse and the Fulvic Acid with Binder. That's your first detox. That's going to take you five to six weeks to complete. And then you move on to step number two. That's going to take you five or six weeks to complete. Then you move on. Listen, this is a journey. This is a journey. Okay, this is not a cleanse. This is a detox. You are cleaning house, baby. You are cleaning your house from heavy metals, toxins, poisons. You are cleaning it from parasites. You are cleaning it from candida. You are completely doing a manual flush of your entire body. It's like somebody's pumping your sewer. And it's not a journey. It's not a race. It's a journey. Okay, so there's no hurry to complete it. What's important is that you finish it. What helps with sleep apnea? You know, somebody told me they started diffusing frankincense in their room and their husband stopped snoring. That's what they told me. I don't know if it's true. So, uh, Guru Nanda Peria Cleanse. I use that morning for skin conditions. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I just prefer Zuma Nutrition, and that's where I'm going to leave that. Uh, Peria Cleanse by Guru Nanda. If, you know, it's $20. I think that if you want to use it, you're more than welcome to. But in my, I'm not going to give any more reviews on it. I, pre I prefer Zuma Nutrition. As a long-time detoxer, Zuma Nutrition is what I prefer. Uh, what helps with high blood pressure? Um, beetroot juice. Guru Nanda black seed oil is fabulous for that. Also, um, hibiscus tea.
Okay, so for the Zuma Nutrition, it's 18 plus. If you want to do things for kids, it's BioRay. I just did some content on the BioRay Kids line, so go watch my content if you're interested for kids. Raw fruit detox before parasite cleanse. You don't have to prep for a parasite cleanse as long as you're taking it with a binder. Um, if you want to, of course, it's okay. You know, I'm not saying, oh, don't. If you want to do some prep, go ahead. I just try to make it very simple and uncomplicated. Because I think as a, as a majority, the holistic lifestyle looks to people as very complicated. It doesn't have to be. The best Sheila G is Zuma Nutrition's. Let me talk a little bit about Sheila G, and then I'm going to quickly answer up some questions because my phone is dying again. I'm going to have to go. Sheila G, when you are getting it in the raw formation from the side of the mountain and it's those little rocks, it's everything. You have everything in there. You have the Sheila G, plus you have all the plant matter and all the toxins and chemicals and whatever that Sheila G picked up on the side of that mountain. Uh, Zuba Nutrition Sheila G is, again, the best parts are extracted and it's lab tested. So you're making sure that you're getting pure Sheila G. Um, I don't buy those rock types of Sheila G. I will buy liquid form of Sheila G from a trusted company. So for that reason, I recommend uh, Zuma Nutrition. Oh, I forgot to unpin the soap. Yes, do get the donkey milk soap. <laughs> uh, eczema, psoriasis, wonderful for your skin. Cleopatra soap is what I call it. So, uh, You can just do a metal detox. But again, if you want to get to optimal health, you can't just do one detox and think you're done. If you do a metal detox, you still have parasites. If you just do a metal detox, you still have candida. If you do a metal detox, your lymphatic system is still clogged. So... It depends what your end goal is. Yes, you can just do a metal cleanse, but what is your end goal? You can clean out the metal if you want to, but you still have parasites. You can do all of that. The best thing is to follow a protocol and do a full body detox to reach optimal health. Yes, all cleanses that I do are through Zuma Nutrition. Everything I do, I trust to Zuma Nutrition. And at the beginning of this live, I gave you some of the reasons why. Zuma Nutrition is one of the most solid detox companies that I see on the, on the market. Really. They have everything together, and they really do a good job. Yeah, absolutely. We don't want to sugarcoat things. Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker helps with gallbladder stones. Actually, go check out timetoheal.net. She has a great tincture for gallbladder stones for Stonebreaker. Uh, I had her on as a guest live last night. She talked about that. Timetoheal.net. T-H-Y-M-E, to heal.net. It's called Stone Smasher. That is what would help for that. Lupus, again, I'm going to tell you guys, just I'm going to make it very sweet and simple. I don't care what you have going on with you. If you were coming to see me, let's say we were in a different world. Well, we wouldn't be as sick if we were in a different world. But let's say um, I, was, I was the doctor. And you're coming to me. I wouldn't even address any of your issues. None of them. You're doing a full body detox and then we can sit down and talk. Because I guarantee you by the time you're done with your full body detox, you won't have anything to talk about. Um, a lot of people want to treat the symptoms. What do we do for fibromyalgia? What do we do for lupus? And I love these questions. But I try to be honest with you and keep it real with you. Yes, you can treat your symptoms of lupus with different types of herbs. But how about doing a full body detox? Chances are it may go away. You know, so yes, there's a lot of holistic healers out here that will shove a ton of herbs down your throat and say, oh, this will work. for," And it does. But you're treating the symptoms. I'm an old root medicine woman. I'm not a holistic healer. I'm an old root medicine woman. We're taught to root out the symptoms so you can heal. So for me, just to give things that, oh, it's going to help. I don't know. You know, I just, I really have a problem with that. You can treat your symptoms for the rest of your life or you can heal yourself. You know, by rooting out the cause of the cause of the symptoms. Zuma does sell Sheila G. Yes, they do. But anyway. All right, guys. Are there any last minute questions on parasite detoxing? Also, again, Zuma Nutrition. You need one peria cleanse, one fulvic acid binder. Use Posh Mama code for 15% off and free shipping if you get both bottles. And we do ship international. Also run it by your doctor and join our Discord. It's free support. Uh, sleep apnea, um, you can try to diffuse frankincense. Uh, skin pigmentation, guys, I think uh, this is the one question I get 
every single day. Hundreds of messages on skin pigmentation. I cover it most every live. I've done a ton of videos on it. I will talk about it again, but please, I beg of you, go watch my content. Not only will you learn a lot of things, you will also become educated, and these things may help you in the future when shit hits the fan. I know it's human nature, just want a quick answer. But think about how much better if you go through my channel, watch my content. There's thousands of videos of tons of helpful information, and I've covered skin pigmentation probably at least 20 or 30 times. So, please go watch my content. Skin pigmentation, clove, vitamin E. Um, you can also do um, uh, um, castor oil. Castor oil works really well. Donkey milk soap that I have pinned is wonderful for pigmentation. I mean, you all wouldn't know how many detoxes I've gone through and how many times I've had breakouts on my skin because I don't have a lot of scarring, you know, dark spots, because I know how to take care of them. The other thing you can do, too, is mix zinc oxide and sulfur. Make a zinc oxide and a sulfur cream and put it on your dark spots. It will lighten and brighten in no time. Lemon. Cut a lemon in half and put lemon over your face. Lemon is nature's skin lightener. So there's so many things that can help for that. Can I purchase the detox and binders a pair? Yes, you can. Actually, do not purchase them separately. Purchase them bundled because you save some money. Um, how to get the detox kit. Go to Zuma Nutrition. Put in Peria Cleanse. It's also in my link tree. But So, anyway. But, so, someone came in and said, warning, permanent ban will ensue if live video does not end in four minutes. And then they put a little bell sign and put notification. These people are so crazy. <laughs> Two followers and one. Guys, I'm telling you, I want to say something that I'm going to go. <laughs> not that I care about the four minutes. But what I'm going to say is, TikTok is the melting pot of the world for just bullshit bullshit it is the melting pot for people who have nothing to do with their lives they have no direction they're just aimless <laughs> it's cra crazy scalp itch um donkey milk soap you could also use the peria cleanse from guru nanda mix it in with your shampoo and wash your st your scalp with it that would greatly help for scalp itch zuma nutrition also has a shampoo and conditioner that is great for scalp itch and helps for a uh, scalp health so that you can have healthy hair Oh, yeah, it's just, yeah, I've got that before. Someone will come in and say, oh, if the live doesn't end in four minutes, and they put the little notification bell, act like it's a notification from TikTok. Like, you guys are crazy. Kids Parasite Cleanse, I use BioRay. BioRay. Thank you for the follow. Uh, glaucoma, um, uh, castor oil. Castor oil on your eyelids at night. Yep, that's it. Iron levels are high. How to flush out? Uh, that I don't know offhand. We don't often have high iron levels. We often have low iron levels. Um, one thing that I will never talk about is something that I don't know. I would have to go to my book of medicine to be able to... One, my, I have a big book of medicine. It's all handwritten. But I have a lot of stuff in there. Scout flakes, big light crater. Again... Uh, Zuma Nutrition has a shampoo that works. You can also um, use, um, if you want a cheaper version, you can go and get the Peri Cleanse. Add that into your shampoo and wash. You can also do spend $7 and get tea tree oil. Put tea tree oil in with your shampoo and wash your scalp with it. So, But anyway, guys, I'm going to run along. My phone is dying, and I'm getting ready to take my son to the pool. We're going to try to get a teeth live in yet tonight, but I don't know. Um, I am... I'm feeling a little bit bare. That's why I'm sitting down to do my live today. I don't feel very good because I'm doing my Candida flush. It's been hot as shit around here. I am just irritable. I'm off my happy hormones, my Karen bundle. And um, so I wanted to do a parasite detox right now because we have some trending videos on parasites. And I'd like to get a uh, teeth live in today yet, but it's all going to depend on how I feel. If I feel good tonight, I will do one this evening, okay? So... Uh, angry for life, go to Walmart and get the um, Guru Nanda Coconut Mint Polling Oil, and that would greatly help you. Start polling with it. Also, I have tons of videos on it. All right, guys, I'm going to run along. I hope you all 
Um, have uh, detox is bullshit. Well, goodbye then. You don't need you don't need to be in here. I love when guys come in just before the live ends and shows their face on my boopity boopity boop. Bye bye. <laughs> so, no, no, you don't have to get the whole Zuma cleanse. You do one thing at a time. Parasite detox first. That's it. And then six weeks later, take a week break. Like two months later, start your next detox. <laughs> China, right? Crazy people. <clears throat> but anyway, I want to thank everyone for coming to my live, spending part of your Wednesday afternoon with me. Thank you for tapping the screen, sharing the live. Uh, thank you to our moderators. Our moderators have done a wonderful job. You guys are wonderful. I could never do it without you. Thank you for blocking the, the clowns. And thank you for keeping our chat clean. Thank you for helping out in the comments. I appreciate everyone's help so much. Um, please come and join us on our Discord. Also, everything that I do here, I upload over on YouTube. So you have you have missed the live. If you want to see a tooth live without actually attending one of my lives, I have them over on YouTube. I have a ton of tooth lives with the Posh Mama 1.0 over kit. You can head over there right now and watch my YouTube channel and pick out a couple uh, tooth issue lives that I did here on TikTok. This one will also be uploaded over there as well. So just because you didn't get to my live doesn't mean you can't watch it. I will upload the shit show over on YouTube so you can watch it over there as many times as you want. Okay, and I'm also on threads now. Threads is where I'll be showing, sharing some of my um, recipes and st stuff. I just did a gut recipe share I put over there on threads. So I'm all over the place. I hope you all have a good day. <coughs> uh, it's YouTube. YouTube. It's up linked in my bio. There's a little red box. Click on that. That'll take you over to my YouTube channel. Our coupon code is Poshmama. P-O-S-H-M-A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. So... Threads is actually Instagram's Twitter, and I love it. I've only been on it for a couple hours, but I love it. You can put video content. You can share links. You can share recipes. Like, it's a little bit like a Facebook, but it's grown by 500 million users in less than five days. It's huge. It's blowing up. So I took my ass over there. I said, why not? I'm everywhere else anyway, and I like it. I like it. I can share. Um, I just shared a gut recipe over there. Um, I also shared a mimosa tincture recipe over there. So I was going to um, charge for content, but I just, I don't know. I just can't, whatever. I, who, the, who, who the duck cares? I'm writing a book, and if you want to support me, you can buy my book then. Threads. It's called Threads. T-H-R-E-A-D-S. I just did a video on my channel for it. Yeah, it just came out. It's, just, it's, 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 it's Instagram's Twitter. Okay, they're, they're sparring. They're like, we want to tweet, and I like it. I like it. It's actually really good. So, like in three hours, I gained 50 followers. Like, where do you do that? Is because it's blowing up. So now is the time to get in if you're a content creator. While it's still young and people are excited and, you know, a lot of stuff going on out there. Yeah, Logan's Path, come join me over there if you want to. Uh, for kids, it's BioRay. I just did a video on a kid's detox. Go watch that. Okay, listen, Posh Mama Code has to be spelled right. P-O-S-H-M-A-M-M-A. Just like my name, Posh Mama, P-O-S-H-M-A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. Make sure you spell it right. Okay? Um, you find me on threads, Posh Mama. It's Posh Mama, Posh Mama everywhere on all channels. Just look for Posh Mama. It's not connected to Facebook, it's Instagram. Yeah, so. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to run along. Have a good, happy rest of your day. We will see you all later. Remember, your health is your wealth. If it doesn't fuel your wealth, they don't give a damn about your health. Have a happy Wednesday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.